I welcome you all to this webinar on making your industrial equipment products stronger, smarter, and more reliable with ModSim on the 3D Experience Works platform. So by this time, I'm sure that uh, whoever is attending the webinar, you might have come across this 3D Experience Works platform, right? So what it is, how it is going to work, and what are the key capabilities inside that? How can we leverage or utilize the 3D Experience platform portfolio uh, that has to offer uh, different tools to you know increasing your productivity uh, while making the uh, industrial equipments much much stronger more reliable and smarter uh, considering all your design aspects and design intent as well so, right so, uh, so let's get into the uh, details of the webinar and in today's agenda we have uh, we'll be looking at what exactly the 3d experience works is we will be taking you through the mod sim journey of a B excavator. So basically, it's a, a very renowned product in the market for earth moving equipment. And we will end this webinar with a key summaries or a key takeaways. What is that you can uh, gain from implementing on the 3D experience platform for your organization? Right. So let's start with the 3D experience works portfolio. So 3D experience works is the power and breadth of the 3D experience platform. Right. So 3D experience platform is a flagship product from the source systems that comprises of all the solutions under its umbrella, be it your design tools such as SolidWorks, Katia, uh, Jovia, or even the product management or PLM uh, tool, your Enovia, the marketing uh, tool called your uh, NetWipes, and even and the factory automation, uh, say NetWipes, uh, uh, sorry, uh, your metadata. And simulation tools called Simulia, uh, even on the uh, for your uh, marketing tool to implement the 3D Excite or 3D Via, even the factory automation tool called as your Delvia. So the all the products, the flagship products under the Dassault systems has been put under one umbrella called as the 3D Experience platform. And 3D Experience Works portfolio consists of five different uh, entities. That is that caters to all your design and engineering needs the simulations, manufacturing productions, governance, and marketing and sales department as well. So how these people from different background, from different, uh, you know, uh, the uh, different industry vertical or a different uh, departments inside an organizations come together and work in a very collaborative approach. On this webinar, what we will be more uh, looking at is the integration between SOLIDWORKS and Simulia tool on the 3D experience platform. How the handshake between happens between your CAD geometry and the uh, simulation portfolio on the 3D experience platform. So this is the essence of the 3D experience platform, right? So what exactly the 3D experience works simulation portfolio has to offer for a design engineers or anyone who is involved in that particular, uh, you know, uh, developing that particular product or a project for your organization. So it is completely integrated into the uh, your SolidWorks or any uh, SolidWorks and uh, Katia uh, tool. So when we say integrated, there is we have uh, requirements gather, gathering, we have PLM coming into picture to uh, project assess, uh, uh, the project management, task assessment, task uh, assignment, the traceability, and the core functionality of your CAD and simulations. That is your modeling and simulations that completely. 100% integrated into your SOLIDWORKS CAD and that can be leveraged, that data can be leveraged to perform different kind of in, uh, simulation of 3D experience platform, be it structures, be it, be it CFD, uh, electromagnetic compliance, and even the plastics and motion as well. So the 3D experience portfolio is built in such a way that it is, uh, it, even if a, a new user, user is accessing the 3D experience platform, he will be able to uh, learn this get on with this particular software in a very short span of time it's basically a designer centric tool with a guided user experience wherein you have the built-in assistant panel that guides you in each and every step on what's to be done what not to be done what is the process that you have completed what parameters that you have already set up and what is that uh, pending so with the help of the assistant panel that 3d experience simulation portfolio has to offer you can quickly set up and up and running the 3D experience, your uh, simulation results. And this contains the multiple, multidisciplinary, comprehensive uh, 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 simulations. That means that irrespective of your uh, uh, working domain, be it as I said, 
the structural simulation or the CFD simulations or even the uh, electromagnetic compliance or EM EMC EMI analysis, your uh, multi-body dynamics and even plastics injection molding simulation. These solutions can talk to each other on the 3D experience platform. That's that the whole essence of the 3D experience platform. So no more different people are working in uh, silos. So earlier a structural engineer used to work in his own with a, a separate CAD data and used to finish the results and share the results uh, uh, simulation findings to his uh, uh, colleagues or his higher ups or the manager. On the other hand, uh, be it a thermal engineer or CFD engineer, he, uh, he sorry, he uh, concludes the simulation and uh, reviews and sa uh, shares these shares his findings to his higher up or uh, manager. But on the 3D experience platform, you can share all these results in a particular dashboard so that that dashboard provides a comprehensive in, uh, information for all the stakeholders who is uh, involved in this particular uh, pro particular project or in that organizations as well. And it is cloud connected uh, solutions that about same or the 3D XPM or the simulation solutions on the 3D experience platform. It is cloud connected that reduces your IT uh, uh, burden as well as reducing your uh, uh, IT infrastructure costs as well. And these solutions are uh, scalable, scalable in the sense with respect to either uh, based on the user skill level or the different types of complex physics that you have to address. Be, say uh, a design engineer only wants to assess the structural integrity of the part, he will have certain roles, certain tools that, that does only the basic uh, linear static analysis or a, a structural simulation engineer who wants to have the complete comprehensive advanced simulations uh, be it for your extensive non-linear analysis uh, or a explicit analysis you will have certain access to uh, per, you know a certain roles on the 3d experience platform that does that right so it's scalable in two ways one is as per the user skill level as well as the complexity of the physics that you are trying to solve and the whole essence of the 3d experience platform is collaborations between all the people whoever is involved in one particular uh, a project or whoever is working in a uh, working for a uh, for that particular project in an organization so, so that seamless collaborations and project management capabilities also uh, that comes along with the the plm capabilities also that uh, that comes al along with the simulation tools that makes it easier for anyone to track the uh, cat file or the track the uh, simulation findings the results everything on the uh, plm connected 3d experience platform so this is the whole essence of the 3D experience works where the ModSim helps you to innovate in a collaborative club environment by bringing all the people uh, whoever is involved in that particular project to work together and bring your products to uh, market faster. So coming to the uh, ModSim journey, ModSim, uh, we have this you know, uh, V excavator where this is not a very new to the market. It's been in the market for a couple of years now. But what the people have got, you know, the engineers and the whole team sat together and they want to improve the product. So what are the things that they are, are trying to improve? They are trying to improve the, enhance the uh, durability of the, uh, you know, the connecting rod uh, or the increase the, or make safer uh, cage for the pe person sitting and operating for that particular equipment. And at the same time, make it smart. When we say make it smart, it has to communicate to the, base stations remotely so for that to happen we need to install an antenna that uh, that should not interfere that uh, the frequency of operating of that particular antenna should not interfere with any other equipments operating in that region right and at the same time you should be uh, comfortable enough in that uh, uh, the operator should be comfortable enough working uh, and operating this particular machine so these are the areas of improvements that has been gathered by brainstorming uh, gathered while brainstorming for ideas to improve this particular product so the modsim on the 3d experience platform comprises of four different classes so we have project requirements we have project ma program management wherein we talk about project management and the collaborations and the uh, statistics or the analytics we have another class called as project management where we gather the requirements and build and the uh, assign a task and the uh, change management the route management everything that comes into picture and we have test management where we uh, you know uh, subject this particular equipment to different cert uh, certifications and value with validation and at the same time we have this modsim core this is the whole as core essence of modeling and simulations wherein modeling 
we have CAD data and how can we leverage the CAD data to do simulations. So we'll get into details on one by one. As I said, so <clears throat> the uh, engineers and the people, the management people have sat together uh, to brainstorm on increasing the uh, uh, dependability, increasing the, the strength of this or improving this particular model, right? So that falls under the class two classifications of our MODSIM called as pro product management, wherein we, they gather the requirements based on the market survey done. So what is that we are going to look at in the couple of uh, coming, uh, uh, coming 20 or 30 minutes is that how do we increase the durability? How do we uh, make the safer or the stronger protection cage? And how do we make the uh, the cabin where the operator is performing it should be comfortable comfortable enough to sit in that for a very long uh, time say morning to evening evening and he has to operate that particular machine and we are also going to look at the uh, designing the safer and comfortable operating seat the plastics part we are going to check for its manufacturability inside the 3d experience platform itself and at the same time we are also uh, you know want this as i said we also want this to make intelligent that should uh, wherein we will place an antenna that should be uh, working or interacting with the uh, base station as well. So this is the class two classifications of Marsim architecture wherein we gather the requirements based on the market survey done and we assign these different tasks to different people, right? So then, then comes the uh, uh, next uh, class three classifications called as program, program management where wherein we manage the project, right? So we assign different tasks, say uh, one people, one person cannot be doing all the analysis. So one, uh, the uh, there, there will be a different specialist or uh, experts in their each domain, be it a finite element analysis, CFD analysis, EMAG and plastics as well. So here we have different people who are working on the same product, but they are based out of different locations, right? Different geo, uh, geos. So in that scenario, how exactly the 3D experience platform helps or bring together all these five people, whoever is working in this particular uh, project, right? And at the same time, the collaborations as well as the project planning is built into this 3D experience platform that can uh, seamless, uh, that the seamless interactions between different people keeps on happening. At the same time, you will be evaluating on the progress of your project as well. And the core essence of the uh, uh, mod sim is your, uh, as the name itself depicts, modeling and simulations. So modeling and simulations with design exploration or design alternatives exploration, design exploration, your design of experiments or optimization analysis. So this is not very new. Uh, this concept is not very new to our uh, SOLIDWORKS ecosystem, wherein uh, uh, we have SOLIDWORKS simulation for structural analysis and SOLIDWORKS flow simulations for CFD analysis, wherein uh, that is completely inbuilt into our uh, 3D experience uh, platform. Or if you talk about in a SOLIDWORKS desktop version, we have SOLIDWORKS and we have simulation tools, uh, SOLIDWORKS simulation and SOLIDWORKS flow simulations that is 100% integrated into our SOLIDWORKS CAD, wherein without in, uh, switching any different software, you can access the sim, uh, CAD data that's been created from SOLIDWORKS inside the simulation environment so no tra data transfer is there nothing so you can leverage that uh, created cad models create a configurations and the, those configurations or models can be right up used to or uh, to perform the different type of simulations be it structures as well as uh, fluids or plastic systems right so in this modsim core technology what is that we are going to do is we are going to do a finite element analysis to uh, finite element analysis and we are going to do a fatigue analysis to check the strength and durability and we are going to do finite element analysis to check the impact analysis of the uh, protection cage we will be performing a cfd analysis to assess the uh, the hvac flow performance as well as cabin thermal uh, comfort and we will be checking to we will design a part and we will check the check for the manufacturability of the uh, seat cover that's made out of uh, plastics as well as we will also be performing a EMC analysis wherein we have placed one particular antenna in the, on the equipment and it should uh, communicate with the uh, the other uh, or the uh, the ground station. It should uh, send the uh, uh, its you know uh, the findings, its uh, you know uh, the efficiency, everything to the base stations. And at the same time, that particular uh, that particular antenna 
is not being interfered with other components or the equipments operating in that particular area. So this is the MODSIM uh, uh, core uh, or what, what we call it as class one classifications, class one classifications of your uh, MODSIM on the 3D experience platform. So this is the uh, roadmap that we are looking at. So we have uh, take a look at, you know, uh, we looked at uh, requirements, we uh, looked at collaborations, how the collaborations can happen. And this is the core essence of your, you know, a modular 3D experience platform, the model based digital transformations, how one can leverage the CAD models, how uh, the files are being saved on a 3D experience platform, how can you maintain that digital continuity. And at the same time, the next step is to uh, perform different kind of simulations, the thermal simulations, the CFEA as well as the plastics as well. And we are going to end this journey uh, by considering all these aspects. Have we attained that particular improvement that we have desired initially, right? So that is the, going to be the roadmap of our uh, the mod sim on the 3D experience platform. Now, coming to gathering the requirements and collaborations, right? So uh, we wanted to, as I said, uh, keep on saying this five factors. We want to, you know, uh, we want to perform the FEA to uh, increase the durability and at the same time to design a cage that is uh, safe enough. If something falls on that particular cage, it is going to that particular cage is going to withstand that impact. And uh, he should be sitting in that particular, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, cabin. Uh, for operating for say eight to eight hours, six to eight hours uh, in a working day, and you should be comfortable enough for that. So uh, uh, a steady state flow has to happen. Uh, the temperature inside that particular cabin should be maintained effectively. And the plastics part uh, that we are going to make is, you know, uh, we will check for its manufacturability as as well on the 3D experience platform. And we are also going to performing the co-site interference as well for EMC analysis. Now, uh, coming to the integrations of SOLIDWORKS and the 3D experience platform simply on the uh, cloud, we have a SOLIDWORKS uh, to design our product and we have Simulia on the cloud platform that is uh, that can access the files that has been created on the uh, SOLIDWORKS. Now, how does this uh, work, right? So the requirements and collaborations is completely done in our 3D experience platform itself. Now, coming to the model-based digital uh, transformations right so we have different tools to perform this so one thing we have our good old SOLIDWORKS uh, that's been integrated into our 3d experience platform wherein uh, the 3d uh, the, the SOLIDWORKS can be launched directly from our uh, 3d experience we interface now you can see on your screen that we have this collaborative designer for SOLIDWORKS role that basically launches the SOLIDWORKS from your browser that the SOLIDWORKS that's been installed in your local machine, right? So once that installation or, you know, a SOLIDWORKS is uh, launched, what you could do is you could save the uh, models. You could create the SOLIDWORKS model and directly export that particular model onto the 3D experience uh, platform. So once these particular files are exported in a 3D experience platform, you can access this particular data, be it a CAD data or any collaborations tool that 3D experience works portfolio has to offer. These data you can access, that can be accessed from anywhere at any time and any, any device as well. Even only for you want to use only uh, this one, uh, this can be uh, leveraged as well. And at the same time, it, it will it, 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 it offers the flexible licensing model and you can perform multidisciplinary simulations for your complex designs as well. So how does this uh, the 3D experience works and the SOLIDWORKS integrate, right? So uh, with this, you can see that you now uh, one can log into the 3D experience platform and clicking on the carpus, you can see you can directly launch the uh, SOLIDWORKS and once you have your SOLIDWORKS open, you can browse and uh, you know, uh, look up the model that you want to open in your SOLIDWORKS user interface. So that's been saved in your local hardware, right? So once you have this model open, you can access 3D experience platform right from your SOLIDWORKS user interface and save this particular model onto the 3D experience platform. That's it. So this is the model-based digital transformations that we're talking about. So we are going to leverage this particular data Right, so you can see this small tick mark saying that you know all this particular uh, has been saved, and right from your SOLIDWORKS user interface, you can select the desired role or uh, desired role that we call it as the 3D experience platform to set up and perform the analysis. Right now, we are selecting this particular boom analysis. We want to perform the uh, 
uh, strength uh, strength analysis or we want to assess the factor of safety or increase the uh, no, the strength of this particular part right so this is the model based digital transformations that we are ta talking about on the uh, 3d experience platform right from your solidworks all to the uh, platform now <clears throat> now we talked about we we looked at how uh, uh, models can be saved on the 3d experience platform that model that's been saved on 3d experience platform will be one copy that we call it as single source of truth that by accessing a single cat file how different people from different background big structures fluids emac and work plastics they can perform the different type of analysis now coming to the the core of this webinar is how do we perform this kind of simulations right so we want to uh, increase the strength and assess the durability or, or, or do perform the fatigue analysis we want to assess the electromagnetics performance we want to look at the thermal management and also we also look at the manufacturability of that particular uh, parts as well so we have a, a role on a 3d experience platform that is uh, called as durability and mechanics engineer so this is a in this particular role has been the technology has been uh, derived from fe safe technology that's again one of the flagship product from the systems wherein uh, leading industries uh, such as hyundai you know uh, th th those people uh, utilize this uh, a particular software to check the fatigue or uh, for repeated loading cycles or to assess the strength of that particular uh, components so how long it will work for uh, for maintaining this kind of repetitive loading so this one particular role gives you access to fe safe technology on the platform to perform the fatigue analysis so next comes up the uh, increase in the uh, strength and performing the rollover uh, mechanics right so again this is the technology or the solver on 3d experience platform is uh, not completely new the technology has been derived from abacus uh, one of the flagship product to perform finite element analysis for uh, uh, majorly for non-linear and explicit uh, dynamic analysis right so this role uh, provides the comprehensive capabilities we have advanced explicit analysis the material models be it for uh, any type of analysis uh, that you want to uh, choose for uh, it could be for non-linear uh, materials hyperelastic hypoelastics right so porous materials even the uh, advanced explicit dynamics as well and the key differentiator between abacus technology and the other uh, solvers uh, that uh, are in the market is the the robust contact modeling or the general contact capability that we have uh, uh, that what it has to offer right so imagine you have multiple components on the 3d on on your assembly and if you want to define the contacts between while well, performing the fe analysis if you want to define the contacts for each and every pair that's uh, that's really a paste, painstaking task right so what do we do we invoke this general contact uh, capability on the 3d experience platform again uh, powered by abacus solver wherein it will automatically detect the contact pairs and applies the uh, uh, that you know uh, the uh, desired uh, contact phenomenon between those two uh, surfaces right so these are the flagship roles on the 3d experience uh, platform that basically covers all your linear static analysis uh, linear static non-linear vibrations dynamics explicit even non-linear analysis also can be performed using structural mechanics engineer and durability mechanics engineer roles on the 3d experience platform so uh, there are short videos how do we uh, perform this kind of analysis if i so due to time constraints i'm going to uh, skip these uh, videos as well now uh, this is basically essentially on the increasing the strength of this particular boomerang and this essentially uh, on the increasing the uh, the uh, structural uh, integrity of your uh, uh, cabin wherein the operator is sitting and we want to check whether if something falls on this particular object whether will it will it uh, uh, you know uh, sustain that uh, drop or not that is our explicit analysis so this we have you know we have covered up our finite element analysis include you know that increases the strength and durability and next we look at the thermal operating or the how do we increase the efficiency or how do we maintain that effective cooling temperature inside this particular uh, cabin is concerned right so where the operator will be sitting and working on this equipment there are two ways of uh, doing that so we are going to look at the hvac performance of the uh, the ac duct as well as the output of that HVAC duct, what the the flow rate that's coming out of that. So how do we check whether you know the air, the cool air that is being recirculated inside the if circulated evenly 
inside this uh, cabin right so this is done using a cft uh, technology and that on that particular role that addresses cft technology for your hvac and even the conjugate heat transfer analysis as well is called as fluid dynamics engineer role so this is a cad and pml uh, plm coupled cfd analysis to a 3d experience platform wherein you can perform uh, you know a different wide range of CFT, the wide range of thermal analysis, external flow, internal flow, aerodynamics flow, that kind of analysis. And it comes with a body advanced body fitted meshing, wherein you have a 3D representations of the uh, mesh instead of grid like structure called as Cartesian based meshing. And that contains all the, you know, uh, the third advanced turbulence modeling as well. So <clears throat> with the help of fluid dynamics engineer, we will be performing the HVAC analysis for this SV, you know, AC dirt as well as we will be taking, taking a look at the uh, the thermal comfort parameters of uh, the uh, you know uh, tool as well so this is the uh, results of fluid dynamics engineer wherein you can see that how effectively the cooling has been uh, basically how effectively the optimum temperature inside this cabin is being maintained so now that we have addressed two aspects of this uh, three aspect three requirements one is increasing the strength increasing the durability increasing the hvac or the thermal uh, comfortness for the uh, inside the cabin the next thing is uh, we want to make it smart right so when when we uh, anything that is uh, uh, smart enough uh, it is connected to internet we call it as iot right so these iot devices are uh, one where the antenna is placed that that particular antenna that will be communicated to your base stations on uh, the uh, the statistics that's been transferred uh, based on the feedback that's been received on the equipment right so, so in order to uh, uh, for this antenna to work seamlessly effectively there should not be any interferences happening between any other components working in this particular area so we need to check for the electromagnetic uh, uh, interference or cosite interference what we call so this is again done with a, a, a role called as electromagnetics engineer role on the 3d experience platform this is powered by another flagship product from the source system called as cst studio suit wherein you can perform a uh, different type of uh, emc analysis you can perform signal integrity power integrity and emc analysis of your pcb design as well as the thermal analysis for your pcb analysis can also perform can also be performed using this particular uh, role called as electromagnetics engineer on 3d experience platform again how do we uh, do that the same workflow we open the model on 3d uh, solid box and save all this model on the 3d experience platform launch that particular role uh, right in from from your solid box user interface and uh, you know uh, perform the uh, simulation and uh, share the results on the uh, dashboard now that we have addressed four different uh, you know uh, requirements that we collected the uh, final thing that has to be uh, done is how do we check the uh, manufacturability of this particular uh, plastics part so uh, bear in mind all these solutions that we are looking at it is a uh, completely integrated into your solidworks cad and at the same time all these four rules or these four physics that we are talking about the they are all you know uh, that's the point of multidisciplinary analysis on the 3d experience platform right so one results can talk to one solutions can talk to uh, the other solutions on the platform so to check the manufacturability of any plastics part it has to you know uh, we have to design that particular part and we have to check whether it's it, you know we should be how easily it can be manufactured with the plastics injection molding uh, uh, process right so we have a role called as plastics injection engineer role that does exactly that so whenever you design a plastics part uh, same workflow you take it to the 3d experience platform access the role plastics injection engineer and perform the injection molding so with this tool you can identify the first thing is how you know whether this particular cavity uh, is being filled uh, if, if there is any short shot is there that can also be observed you can identify the weld line sink marks a traps so whatever the anomalies that is associated with plastic injection molding to a tool or a, a process that can be assessed right in your 3d experience uh, uh, platform itself so now that you know uh, we've talked about addressing all this uh, uh, four physics so what do we uh, what is that we infer from this so we have checked the uh, you know uh, the uh, durability and we have uh, we have a, a design we have designed and checked the uh, better performing product or we have basically increased the durability of our uh, product connecting rod and uh, over and boom and we have 
made safe we have made, designed this particular cage in such a way that it is safe enough when even some object is falling onto the ground and with the help of computational fluid dynamics and uh, uh, fluid dynamics engineer role on the 3d experience platform we have effectively you know designed the hvac system as well as we have designed this particular cage wherein uh, uh, right amount of air cool air at the right temperature is uh, you know uh, getting into the uh, cabin and that's been equally or evenly spread out making it you know optimum temperature for operator to work on that and at the same time we check the uh, manufacturability of this particular plastics part with the plastics injection engineer role and we made it intelligent enough by checking the uh, you know emc emi analysis for this antenna that's been placed and we made it intelligent enough to communicate uh, with other uh, uh, other base stations or other equipments also so this is the mod sim journey uh, we have uh, end to end mod modeling and simulations uh, uh, combined with our uh, solid works and the similar roles on 3d experience platform and we can perform multiple design design of experiments design we explore designs we, have, we can evaluate multiple uh, you know a design alternative so that we will have a better performing product that can be released to the market so what is that we have looked at in in the past uh, uh, half an hour or so right so what is the benefits of the 3d experience platform for a technical people for any engineering uh, team now so so digital continuity single source of to source of truth one data can be leveraged by all the people whoever is involved in that particular project to do uh, different type of simulations they can perform uh, engineer can perform a simulation driven design and exploration basically where you uh, your simulation results are linked to your cad model if your cad model changes automatically your simulation model will be updated and you can evaluate multiple design uh, iter iter uh, design alternatives and the tight integration between the multiple disciplines be it structures fluid or uh, plastics say if you have a if you have done the plastics injection uh, molding simulation on 3d experience platform and using the abacus tool you can do the warpage analysis right so with the help of the structural role so that kind of multidisciplinary analysis we are talking about on the 3d experience platform at the same time the collaboration is the key across different people whoever is involved in that particular project and the utilizing the high performance cloud computing to solve your complex model right so even if you rely only on your local workstations if it is a complex analysis it takes very longer time to solve that particular analysis but if it is a very complex analysis you need a sophisticated workstation or you know that offers uh, a sufficient course to solve your uh, uh, product so the 3d experience platform with the help of hpc on the cloud exactly it does that it will offer up to 144 cores to speed up your simulation results now what is it for uh, business so obviously these are uh, with respect to your engineering point of view when it comes to uh, driving a business there should be benefits as well right so if you, you are looking at uh, different aspects so obviously when it comes to business you can take your model you, you can build your model and take to the market in a very short span of time with uh, uh, you know uh, modeling and simulations that been integrated and with, and with a, um, a higher solving uh, speed on the uh, 3d experience platform powered by hpc and you will have uh, you can innovate a broader uh, product portfolio you cannot limit or constrain yourself to one particular product and how do you optimize that but you can innovate uh, you know uh, you are multi multi uh, if you have a multiple components or multiple designs that can be uh, you know uh, uh, evaluated for uh, different uh, uh, different loading conditions as well and you can reduce the, with the help of a simulations you can reduce the uh, prototyping cost the compliance and balancing uh, cost as well obviously with all this including uh, with all this you can improve the operational efficiency of your whole organization as well and by leveraging the cloud connected storage as well as solving capability you can reduce the your it cost and reduce the it infrastructure cost as well so with this i come to the end of the assembly uh, with this i come to end of this uh, webinar if you have any uh, doubts or any questions please feel free to uh, post it in the uh, please put it in a uh, chat thank you